Hello, I'm Ritz Blues, and this is Gourmet Warriors, also known as Gourmet Sentai Barayaru. It was originally released on the Super Famicom, but uh, eventually it was picked up by Pico and made as an SNES reproduction cart and later ported to Steam. It can be best described as a kind of zany or silly Final Fight clone, uh, but there's a few differences in mechanics, primarily in the way that you damage enemies, as well as how you heal in the game is a bit different. Uh, mostly the objectives of the game is to, are, is to defeat enemies, to collect food power-ups, from them, and then at the end of each stage, cook the food that you've collected into meals to recover your health. Uh, but that doesn't really do this game justice, so you'll just kind of have to see it. I will go ahead and get started here. Uh, the game has three difficulties. We're going to play it on normal difficulty, as it is the hardest difficulty that I can play and still be considered marathon safe, as the spicy difficulty does not allow for continues if for anything bad were to happen. Uh, functionally, there's no difference between them, though, other than that. The three main characters are Bonjour, Mademoiselle, and Très Bien. Bonjour is the powerhouse character. He's fairly slow, but hits really hard and is actually the fastest character to complete the game in most categories. Uh, Mademoiselle is kind of the agile character. Uh, her throws are very mobile. She has a lot of the moves that have good reach all over the, over the map. Uh, but she's actually the slowest character. And then in the middle, we have Très Bien, who is the speedster character. Uh, but doesn't have as much strength in his attacks uh, as uh, Bonjour. Uh, but I find him to be the most fun, so we'll go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So the primary focus is going to be, of course, to defeat enemies as fast as possible. In addition to our basic punch attack, uh, we can rock the shoulder buttons in order to do command grabs and throws. Uh, and those deal significantly more damage than our basic strikes. Depending on how fast you input the shoulder buttons will determine which throw you want. We actually want to try and get uh, very specific throws depending on the, the enemy that we are fighting. The fast throw deals more damage, like the fast button presses, but it is a longer throw animation. In addition to our uh, attacks and kick buttons, uh, our attack and jump button, we also have this lovely taunt button that we can press. That, uh, you know, it's really stylish. Every time we pick up a piece of food, we get a sliver of health back, which is why we're starting to gain green health at this point. Depending on whatever move we use to finish the enemies off will determine what item they drop, if any. The tiny guys there uh, can be fairly easily killed using uh, uh, just using just about any attack in the game. However, uh, if we kill them with the right attack, we can get ice cream, which is Clavian's favorite food. So, a little bit of uh, benefit to killing that way. Finally, at the first boss, this is Kiriko. Uh, 
Alright, that was a good fight. So, uh, each time that we have a, uh, a menu like this, uh, we get to cook. So, here's dinner time. That's ice cream and egg. Which will make a lovely little uh, parfait that heals for a good chunk of health right here for Tybian. So Tybian loves sweets. They're his favorite food. Uh, Bonjour's favorite food is uh, steak. Uh, that's Lamp, by the way. Lamp always drops a clone power up, which gives you a bit of healing, but also spawns a clone. Uh, which is not actually good because the clone spawns more enemies. It turns the game temporarily into uh, two-player mode, which is slower. Get off. So this stage, unfortunately, there's not a lot of uh, opportunity to pick up good foods here. Mostly what we're going to get is uh, tofu and mushrooms. So, uh, yes, if you're wondering, these are uh, tiny little men piloting Moai mecha suits that attack with sneezes. Just in case, you know, just for the record, that's, uh, that's what they're doing. All right, so we're heading into the second boss area here. Uh, these little knife hands here deal damage and then disappear, so we'll just avoid them. If I were playing as Bonjour, I'd be punching them to get stakes, though. So this is the second boss, uh, known as Ah uh, Yeah. He's, uh, he's kind of tricky for new players. But again, what you want to do most of the time is just stick to throws. There we go. Good fight. Uh, for this fight, we are going to do... Tofu and protein. Dinner time! If you do the protein before any other food, you get like messed up protein powder that is not tasty at all, so it's, it's terrible. Uh, so, but if you get protein as your uh, second ingredient, then it's typically pretty good. So these are drools. Drools will always drop your favorite food depending on which way you kill them. The bunnies drop eggs, which are pretty valuable for healing, so... Punch lamp here... Dodge the missiles here. 
And again, if we do a body slam to finish off drool, he will drop ice cream, and that's a critical component for Clavian's favorite foods. Moving on, these enemies always drop flour whenever you hit them. Flour is another good uh, ingredient to pair with uh, Trabian's ice cream. There we go. Alright, so moving on to the next boss, Bee Excellent, or Bunny Excellent. We're gonna do our best to defeat her here. She doesn't get another round here. That's good. That was a good, uh, good, good start to the fight. Good fight. Uh, for this, we're gonna do ice cream and eggs again. Dinner time. Another really solid heal here. The order in which you use the ingredients is also very important. So here we have stage four. This is probably the hardest stage in the game with the hardest boss. Well, I guess stage five is a little harder. But, uh, stage four introduces the swimmer enemies. Tauntage here. very important that I keep the um, enemies here either under control or not far from one another here. So again, depending on how we can kill them, if we can use a specific move, we can get whatever food we want. So I'm going back and forth between 
killing them quickly versus uh, spawning items that I want them to pick off here. These swimmers have a bad tendency to uh, try to interrupt combos, so... thing we have to do here is make sure that whenever there are little guys on screen like that, that we uh, plant the enemies in order to get ice cream from my opponents here. Sometimes enemies can set things on fire. Uh, I also have the, an attack that can set enemies on fire, although it's not particularly useful. And also it's dangerous. here. Ooh, interrupted. Not for Baron, hardest boss in the game. Why are you off screen? Terrible Baron fight, and yet I somehow gold split that. Uh, let's see here. We want ice cream, right? Is that right? Yep, ice cream. And then we want, uh, let's go with wheat. There we go. Dinner time! So that's ice cream cake. There's 160 heals right there. Booyah. Final stage. Bye-bye. <laughs> 
Yeah, didn't want to get the highest throw on him. Oh well. Low, high. Ah. Nothing I could do about that. It's just gonna be a fast throw no matter what I did. clone for just one last moment here that's the end of that so f computer um, the uh, other thing we can do that's really funny here is uh, if we do double mushroom you know time uh, we will get a poison mushroom mm, delicious which drops our health down to zero so if I take a hit here, we're done. Thankfully, this boss is incredibly predictable. There's only a couple of things he can do that's considered dangerous. That's it right there. But it's also faster if he does that, so you know, kinda works out. Anyway, coming up on time here. Time will be when I pick up the protein. One more round. And time. So 22.31, not too bad for, you know, 
not playing for a little while. But yeah, our reward for defeating F Computer and the villains of the game is to blow up their space base and then go uh, wander around in a field of flowers for a while. On the hardest difficulty of the game, the ending's a little different. Um, if you beat the game on the spicy difficulty, the gourmet warriors become drunk with power and they decide that the universe is theirs to conquer and they become evil. But I think the normal ending is quite good. But anyway, that's Gourmet Warriors. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, this is kind of the middle of the road in terms of speed on it. The Mademoiselle run is a little slower. The Bonjour run is a bit faster. This is a fairly typical uh, Trabian run. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.